ました。Hi, I'm Eddie Cooper, fully qualified golf pro for the last 10 years. If you ever wanted to take up this wonderful game of golf, then I'm the person to see. You're probably wondering to yourself, well how do I go about it? Well, there's lots of different ways that you can actually go through it. Firstly, you need to make sure that you go into a fully qualified golf professional for lessons. When you actually arrive for lessons, you'll be shown through certain clubs. Now you're probably wondering what clubs those are going to be. In front of us here we have quite a big selection of actual clubs from a putter, irons, woods. And you're probably thinking, well, down here we've got things that are made of metal and titanium. Well, the golf club originated from a solid block of wood. I've got this, this in my hand here. It's then graduated on to steel. And then now, the modern technology is what all these we've got lined up down here, titanium. Now, with all the different materials, it allows you to make and play different shots. With titanium, it's very light. You probably, when you get hold of a titanium club for the first time, will not believe the actual weight of it. But it will allow you to hit the ball better because it's very forgiving, very large, and you'll be able to hit the ball more out the centre. Then, when we actually come to play in iron shots, and when you actually start this game of golf with a professional like myself, you're going to start off with what we call a seven iron. We have a set of nine irons will comprise your golf clubs. The seven iron is the middle club in that set, and all PGA professionals will want you to start off with that seven iron. It's the mid club, it's the easiest club to use. Once you've actually gone through the actual irons, and you get on the green, you get a putter. Now, this is a very oddly shaped putter, but it doesn't matter. All different sizes, shapes, weights, everything for you to use, entirely up to you how you go about it. But, when you actually start, you don't need any of this because your local qualified PJ professional will have all this equipment for you. He will give it you as part of your lesson, and then you'll be able to go. Once you've actually started your lessons, then it's up to you just how much time you put into this. You only get out of this game of golf exactly what you put into it, so practice for a beginner will always make you better. It will never make you perfect, but it will always make you better. Over the rest of this programme, what you will see is two beginners going through the steps to ful fulfil their uh, situation out on the golf course and hopefully progress onto future golf success. We're going to start on the driving range with our two beginners. One who's a complete beginner, has never picked a golf club up before, and the other who's been playing for eight months but has never visited a PGA golf professional. What you will see is them going through every single aspect of the game, from hitting from the tee, from the fairway, playing shots, chipping, pitching, bunker shots and putting on and around the green which we will then finally take onto the golf course for them to have a friendly game together to see how they've got on and progressed on the range and putting it all into practice. So I'll see you on the range. Right Debbie, what we're going to do today firstly is to make sure that you're actually in a good solid starting position. Okay? If you haven't got a good position, you're going to struggle to make a reasonable swing. Right? Now firstly, when you actually take your setup position, you must make sure that the aim of the club is to your intended target. Okay? If we imagine a line, just stand there just for a second please. Right? If you imagine a line going from the tee 
down to your intended target, the 100 yard marker. Okay? Coming straight down, your bottom line of the club must be at a right angle to that ball to target line. If it's in that position, it's what we call square. If it's there, it's what we call closed. Okay? That will make it hit it off to the left and low. That is open and it will go high and right. All the time you must be thinking about square. Then, what you've got to make sure you've got from there is a good grip. You just want to stand just to there and you can see straight on you've got where we've got the actual hole. There's three ways of holding the club. Firstly, the baseball grip. You've got all ten fingers on the club, okay? That's going to make your hands a bit more stronger to use, a bit easier, a bit more power coming through. The interlock, with the first finger of the left hand, the little finger of the right hand, interlock, which will bring the hands more together, and the overlap. Now this is the best grip, this is the, the grip I'm going to introduce you with first, where the little finger of the right hand just sits over the top, so it actually squeezes your hands a little bit more together, which will make them more compact and hopefully create a bit more power. Now then, when you actually take the grip, what you're going to make sure you're doing is holding it in the fingers, not in the hands. When you first start off, you want to make sure that the left hand is going to be your top hand, the little finger is going to sit two centimetres from the top of the club. It's going to sit across the joints, the little finger two centimetres from the top, and you're going to wrap your actual hand over the top, making sure that you can see when you look straight down, two knuckles and the V coming from the thumb and the forefinger is pointing towards the right shoulder. Once you've got that position you can then apply the right hand. Now don't worry about the little finger just for, for the time being. We're going to place it again in your fingers of the right hand in the joints. Okay. Then you're going to wrap your right hand over the top of the left thumb making sure that this line again is pointing in the same direction as the left hand up towards the right shoulder. Okay. Once you've actually taken that grip, your little finger can sit wherever feels more comfortable. Whether it's on top of the first finger of the left hand, or it's in the joint, or the crack between the two fingers. That's entirely up to you. Okay. Once you've got your grip with the square club face, that's going to hit it straight to hopefully get you in the right direction. If you get your hands too far over, what we call a strong grip, your right hand can't get on top, you see too many knuckles, that's not pointing, that's pointing at the hip, not at the right shoulder. If you return that to a neutral position, it actually closes the club face, so you'll hit it left. If you're too weak and you can't see enough knuckles, okay, the right hand, if you return it to the correct position, it's going to open the club face so it'll go off to the right. That's a weak grip, strong, strong it goes left, neutral grip with a square club face will actually help you to hit the ball straighter. Once you've got your club face and your grip, you're then going to take your feet position, which is roughly going to be about shoulder width. Okay? You need it shoulder width so you've got a good solid base to move from. If you're too wide, you can't turn properly and you're going to move around too much. If you're too narrow when you come to turn, you might lose your balance and you won't be able to actually swing through the ball properly. So make sure you've got your feet about shoulder width. Once you've got your feet position, you're then going to take your posture. Right. The easiest way to take the posture is to make sure that you stood up straight, your feet shoulder width again. Right. You'll go over from the hips, okay, keeping this angle. You don't want to come over from the shoulders and get in all hunched because you can't turn properly. Right. Come over from the hips, then let your legs relax, and then you'll let your hands hang down below the chin which is going to give you a good distance to be able to move from to create your swing. Right? Make sure that you take your time making sure with your posture you're getting a good position. I don't want you looking down at your grip and getting all hunched up. Because if you haven't got a good posture, it's going to hurt your back and it's also going to make it more difficult for you to swing. Right, Debbie, now it's your turn. Okay? Yep. What we're going to start off with, we'll put you in with the grip into your hands make sure the club face is sorted out, have a few swings, then we'll get your feet positioned, your posture. Once you've had a few more swings with that, we'll get you to actually strike a few balls down the range and see what happens. Right. Okay? Yeah. Right, now then, what we need to make sure you're doing, firstly, 
Just hold your left hand out like so. All right, OK. Get your hair out of the way. All right, you're going to place it, remember, your left hand. Your little finger is going to be two centimetres from the top. You're going to wrap that hand over the top, OK, making sure that you've got your two knuckles, the V is pointing up towards the right-hand side, OK? You're then going to take your right hand, you're going to leave this little finger out of the way, hold it in the fingers there, wrap your right hand over the left thumb, so you've got, again, that line pointing up towards your right shoulder. Now, that can go wherever it feels comfortable. If it's there, there, I'll leave that to you. It's entirely up to you. You've got to feel happy with that, OK? Right. Remember, we've got your grip now. We've now got your club face, OK? Making sure it's square. We don't want it closed, going off to the left, open, going off to the right. We've got your square club face, your neutral grip. Right. What we now need you to do is to take your feet about shoulder width, get yourself in a position. Just step back just a little bit. OK. What I'm going to do first, we won't worry too much about your posture. All I want you to do is to hold the hands about that high, OK, and have a few swings around you, just swinging it sort of this high, just to actually get the feeling of it in your hands. OK? Right, so I'll let you do that on your own. Right, faster. 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 Don't leave go of the club, I don't want you to hit me. Right. OK, all right? Yeah. Just stop there, just for a sec. Right, let me take the club out of your hands. Right, you can have it back again. Don't worry if you don't get it right, it doesn't matter. OK, we can reposition the fingers, thumbs. And I remember, all four fingers, that's it. OK, make sure you're seeing two knuckles, the Vs. Where the Vs point to, you remember? Right. Yeah, so good, there. good. OK, thumb over with a square club face. All right? Yeah. You've got your feet shoulder width. Right, now then, what I want you to do is just get the club placed to the T and just have a few little swings, just about hip high, down striking the team, try and come through the same sort of amount, just so you've got a pendulum, equal distance on the way back and on the way through. Don't worry about your posture, we'll come on to that in a minute. I just want you to have a few swings just to get the feel of the club in the hands, trying to hit the tee, make sure you hit the tee, okay? Keep your eyes on the tee all the time. Don't worry about how it feels, just, have a, just to get used to it in the hands. That's it, keep going. Keep your eye on the, the actual tee, because that's where the ball's going to be. Don't take your, hat, your eye up as your hands are going back. Keep the eyes down there all the time, because that's where the ball is. That's it. Keep going. Right, OK, I'm going to place the ball in. It doesn't matter what happens to it. If you miss it, it goes along the ground. It's not important. If it goes up in the air, whoopee. Right, great. Don't worry about it. Okay. Make sure you hit the tee, OK? Not the ball. Don't worry about hitting the ball. Just make sure you hit the tee. Right, OK. Just have a few... Right. OK, off you go. Nice and confident. Good? Super. Right. And again. Try that again. Good. Got up in the air. And again. Super. Right, OK. Now then. Just stop for a minute. Right, let's reverse rolls. If you just swap places just for a minute, I'm going to come into your posture now. That's great. You've got the club face, you grip your feet position, super, right? We now need to give you that posture, okay? So you're going to stand with nice straight back, straight legs, feet shoulder width, over from the hips, not the shoulders, okay? So you keep your actual back angle, let your knees relax, then you let your hands hang below the chin, okay? Making sure that's going to give you the distance. If you're too far out there, you won't actually be able to reach the ball and too close, you won't be able to move properly. Okay? So just swap back over again. Get yourself on the mat, right? Feet shoulder width and stand up nice and straight. Okay? Right. Where you actually want to get positioned, okay, head up a little bit. Right. Face the back and go over. Right, a bit more. Let your knees relax. Okay, and let your hands hang out in front of you. Then you can take the grip. Okay? Make sure you've got that square club face. Right. Okay, you might want to. That's good. Okay, have a few swings with that. Might just stick your backside out a little bit. Good. Good. Just have a few swings with that all the time, hitting that tee. Keep going. That's good. That's good. Try to make. Just come back again. Just come back slightly. Right. Try to make a full 
a better movement coming through and come up onto that foot, just so you're following through a little bit more down towards the target. If you keep that foot flat, you can't follow through properly, it's going to restrict your swing. Okay, right. so make sure you actually follow through a little bit more. Right. That's better, good. Make sure you strike down, hitting the tee all the time. Good, keep going. Try and hit that tee. It's not going to grow any longer, so you'll have to make sure you hit down. Perfect, right. Let's put the ball in. Hit that tee. Stick your backside out a little bit more. A bit more. Good. Good, hit that tee. Whoops, that's all right. Don't worry about that. Can't be wonderful all the time. Make sure you strike down hitting the tee. Don't make contact with the ball, just the tee. The ball will come off the club face if you hit the tee. Whoops. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We, um, can, uh, we can forget about a few shots now and again. Can What's I up? Can change the um, grip to one of the other ones? It Why? It's uncomfortable because one of my fingers like over the top. So it's what, hurting it's your fingers, about, yeah. stretching the fingers? OK, that's not a problem. Um, in that case, then, what's probably the easiest way to do it, instead of you sort of having the little finger attached to the left hand, is not to have the actual finger interlocked or overlapping. Yeah. Just put it into a baseball grip. Yeah. Okay, it's a much stronger, it's more probably more comfortable for most beginners, actually. If in the future you want to change it, fine, but it's probably more comfortable. So you're going to position your left hand in exactly the same position, okay? There. Make sure you've got your two knuckles. Make sure that line's pointing up towards the right shoulder. And now you put the right hand on. Good. And make sure that your first finger of the left hand and the little finger of the right hand are actually touching each other. Okay, don't let the hands separate. Okay? Right. That line's going up towards the right shoulder. Right, so have a few swings. Make sure you've got your club face. You've now got a different grip, the baseball grip instead of the overlapping grip. Two knuckles, V's, feet are good, you've got your posture, and have a few swings from there. Just little half swings, just going back to about hip high. Good, and again. Good, keep going. Good, right, let's put the ball in, see what happens. Let's see how comfortable that grip starts to feel. Good. It does feel a bit, a bit better. Yeah, it's not stretching the finger as much? No. It's a bit more comfortable? Yeah. Right, okay, good. Keep going. Good. Try to make a little bit more of a follow through coming up off that actual, just swing back and stop. Right. That's fine, you're doing that perfect. Eyes on the ball all the time, and then make sure you come down, striking the tee and following through. Try and hold that position. Okay, have a go with that. Make contact with that T. Good. Right, Debbie. Okay, that was great. Your first few shots there, you've made contact with the ball, which is the most important thing. Most people might sort of miss and have a few duff shots here and there, but you're getting the ball going in the right direction. So what we need to do now is to give you a little bit more of a fuller swing. Doesn't matter what it feels like, how uncomfortable it is, what happens to the ball if you hit it sideways, it goes up in the air, regardless, okay? It's just to get you a feeling, okay? So let's get yourself set up again. Take that grip of yours, okay? You've got the club face square, you've got your posture. Good, right, just swing back to where you have been going, right, about hip high there, good, right. Keep your eye on where the ball would be. All you're going to concentrate on doing is making sure that you're getting your shoulders to about 90 degrees. You must get there, but you can go a little bit further if you wish, about 90 degrees. And just let the hands come in, round about shoulder high there, just above shoulder high, just behind the right shoulder. Right? Yeah. You're then going to, keeping your eye on the, the actual ball, swing down, making contact with that tee again, right the way through, foot, and to the top there, and hold that position. All right, so get yourself set up again. Concentrating on the aim of the club being square, the grip, your two knuckles, your Vs, your feet shoulder width, your posture, good. Right, so you're gonna swing back, turning the shoulders to 90 degrees, eyes down here, good. Hands just above shoulder high, just in behind, and then down, 
and through and finish. Nice little pose with the foot there, that's good. <laughs> right, try that yourself. See what happens to that. Right. Don't worry if you feel you're out of control. This is just to introduce a fuller swing. It doesn't matter if it's not in the exact position. Good, keep going. Try and make contact with that T. Super, and again, all the time keeping your eyes focused on the T, concentrating on being in a good position. Good, and again, keep making, trying to make contact with the T all the time. Don't worry about the ball. There's no ball there just at the moment. Good, super, right. Do the same thing with this. Doesn't matter what happens, just feel comfortable with what you're doing and just let it swing, let it flow, and hit the T, forget the ball. Hey, great shot. That's great. Right, and again, keep going. All the time, feeling comfortable in your grip, your actual, make sure that club face stays square. That last swing, you were just a little bit closed there, which made the ball go off to the left. So make sure you stay square. Stick your backside out just a touch more, good. And hit the tee. Great golf shot. Right, Debbie, good. Okay, let's see you do that again. Right, get yourself set up. Concentrate on making sure the club face is square. You've got your grip with your knuckles, your Vs, your feet position, your posture. Okay, and let's see you strike that down the, the actual range. That's a great golf shot. Right, okay, I'll tell you what we're gonna do there. As soon as you've finished on a good one, we're gonna end it. Well, for your first lesson, that's spot on, absolutely brilliant. You've learnt about the club face being square, You've learnt about your grip. You didn't feel too comfortable with the first one, the actual Varden grip, the overlapping grip, but we changed it into your actual baseball yeah. grip, which made it feel a lot more comfortable. You were happy with it. You could control it more. You got your feet position, your posture. Then you had a little short swing. And then, because you were doing so good, we introduced a fuller swing, which looked great, it really did, right? And then off you went. You hit a few shots, and you finished off with a super one there. So what I want you to do, go away and practice. Keep thinking about that grip. Right? Even if you grab at home a wooden spoon or something like that, just to feel the, the actual yeah. control and get the, the, feel happy with the actual fingers and everything. Right? Have a few swings, come and practice, and I want you to have another lesson in seven days' time. All right? Yeah. Great. <laughs> right, Danny, so how long have you been playing this game? Eight months. Right, OK. Have you had any lessons? No, I haven't. So, what have you been doing to try and get you to hit Read balls? magazines and uh, right. Friends have told you things and yeah. things like that? Right, okay. All I want you to do today then, is I'll just, firstly, just hit some shots okay. and we'll take it from there, okay? Okay. Right, so if you hit some balls for me, let's grab all of these. Right, now would you like to go off the tee because it's a bit easier to hit, or do you want to, because you've played a little bit more, do you want to go off the I'll actual? I'll go off that. Right, okay, good. Right, let's see some shots and you tell me where you're aiming for and then we'll take it from the there. hundred marker. Right, okay, good Dan. Right. Right, a little bit off to the right there. Nice and high. Good. Keep going. Good again. That's your typical sort of shot, a little bit off to the right? Yeah. Gone out about uh, 100 yards, yeah, something like that? Yeah, I don't hit it very far with that. You don't hit, well, how far do you expect to hit it then? With a 7 iron? Yeah. About 150 yards. Right, okay, good. All right, let's see it. a few more shots then. Whoops, that was a bit of a funny ball, didn't seem to know what it wanted to do. Just a few more, keep going. Right, okay. Now then, let's swap places. That was good. Not bad, but as you can see from where you just hit it, everything, like you say, is going off to the right hand side. Very high, yeah. not much power, okay? What we need to make sure you're doing first, your faults are, you've got a very weak grip, okay? You understand what I mean by weak grip or not? Yeah. Where it's a little bit too far over yeah. there? Okay, we need to make sure we get your grip back where you're seeing two knuckles and you're getting your Vs pointing towards your right shoulder, okay? You're actually aiming too far to the left. So you're opening your stance up. When you get set up, you must make sure you're aiming the right direction. Not only with the club aiming towards your intended target, okay. but also with your feet, your knees, your hips and your shoulders. Now, from the ball to target line, okay, which is going up towards the 100, 
your body, your feet, knees, hips and shoulders need to be parallel to that. Now you're aiming everything off to the left hand side, okay? So the club face is square, but your body's open, aiming left, so you're going to cut across the ball and it's going to go off to the right hand side. Yeah. What we need to get you to do is make sure you stand square, feet, knees, hips, shoulders, parallel to that ball to target line. Right. The other thing you're doing, because you're aiming off to the left hand side, you're a little bit close as well, we need to get you to stand further away, but because you're actually aiming to the left side, that's making you t bring the club up quite steep, Okay, a little bit too high, we need you to get in a little bit flat, a little bit shallower here, the okay. hand's not quite as high, which will give you a little bit more turn, better power, so that will give you a bit more distance. But if you're aiming in the right direction, that will help you to hit the ball straighter. Okay? Yeah. So, firstly, what we need to do, I oh, see you're not going off the tape, we're going off the mat, is get the club, or the, the actual body set up parallel. What I'm going to do is to actually place the club down parallel to your ball to target line. I'll get you to stand there, okay? We'll change your grip into making sure you've got two knuckles, your V's pointing in the right direction, okay, so you've got a neutral grip. If you're aiming correctly then, you get to stand a bit further away. Don't want to worry too much about your swing, we'll come on to that in a minute, and then we'll get you to hit a few shots, all right? Yeah. So if you want to swap places, right, I'll just bring this club in. Right, get yourself set up. Right, now then, what we need to do is just take that across, Right, can you see two knuckles there without peering around the side? Look straight down. If you peer around the side, you'll see everything. Yeah. Right, two knuckles. That line and that line. Okay, if we hold the hands out. Hold on. Whoops. Okay, that line and that line pointing up towards the right shoulder. Yeah. Okay? Right, get yourself lined up, but I want you to stand. Let's just put this club in. <laughs> Right, see how open your stance is there? I want you yeah. to get set up a little bit squarer. Okay. Stand a touch further away. Make sure that the feet, the knees, the hips and the shoulders are all parallel to this club which is parallel to your ball to target line. Okay. Okay. Now then, don't worry too much about your swing. I just want you to feel a bit more comfortable with that grip yeah. and a, a, a slightly different position. It's probably going to feel like you're aiming miles right because you've been so far yeah. to the left. All right, but let's see what happens there. Don't worry what happens to the ball if you miss hit it. Just have a few swings. Good, nice and high, but a bit more power in it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that went a little bit further, that was good. Keep going. All, right, all the time making sure that you've got your grip. Let's just, just tweak that around a little bit. Good, good. Good. See how straight that's gone? Yeah. Because you're aiming in that direction now. Much better. Look, there's about another 30 yards straight away. Because uh -huh. you're set up better, you've got a much stronger grip, so you're going to get more power in the hands instead of being so weak. Okay. okay. So that's going to give you more penetration, more distance. Keep going. Keep going. Make sure all the time that your feet, your knees, your hips, your shoulders are parallel. Mm -hmm. You're checking for your two knuckles. Right. Your V's, your lines pointing towards the right shoulder. Just stay there, just a sec. Tweak that round a little bit more. Good. Right, okay. Make sure you've got your body set up. Right, let me get out of the way. Keep going. Good. Straight down the line. That's a super shot. A lot more power in there. Okay, a lot more power. Keep going. Right, all the time. Just take your time in getting set up. It's important you take as long as you need to feel more comfortable, because you are going to be a bit fiddly, you're going to have to shuffle about a little bit, okay, so take as long as you need, that's okay. all, that will come with practice, you hitting more and more balls and feeling happier with it. Good, that's a good setup. Good swing, hey, that's gone, let's see, it's gone a lot further, a lot straighter, because you're now aiming the right direction. Right, just get yourself set up again, take your time. Right, make sure you're checking for the knuckles, you're getting your V's at the right shoulder. Well done. That's good. Swing up to the top of the backswing and stop. Right, for my liking there, you're going a little bit too far, mm -hmm. right? I want you to just bring it back, just so the hands are just above shoulder high. The club is going to go slightly further than this, yeah. right, because the momentum will carry into. But you're having a tendency to want to go a little bit too far, sometimes, not all the time. 
What's going to happen from there? You're going to come down on it from outside and you're going to lose power and all kinds. So okay? why it goes right? It is, yeah. As well as you aiming off to the left, and because you're taking the club up further, you're going to come down on top of the ball more, so it's going to go off to the right-hand side. So if we can get you in a little bit lower, yeah. come in a little bit lower, and that will allow you to actually swing through better, okay. uh, and generate a bit more power, and stop the ball going off to the right-hand side. Okay. Yeah. So get yourself set up again. Take time with your grip. That's good. Feet, knees, hips, shoulders all aligned. Swing to the top and stop. Just try and hold it just above shoulder height with your hands. All right. Try and come in here a little bit. Right. You will go further, but I want you to feel you get uh -huh. to there. Try that again. Right up to the top. Just hold it at the top. Right. Good. Swing down from there and go through. Right. Try that again, but without stopping. Right. No, we're not going to put a ball in just yet. Just I want you to have a couple of practice swings just to feel it. Take time with your grip. Yeah. Okay. Your feet, knees, hips, and shoulders. Okay. Go up to the top of the bat. I don't want you to stop. I want you to keep swinging here, but try and feel it's just getting just above shoulder high. Now, that's not too bad. And again, go again. Right. All the time. Checking the grip. Go through a routine. If you can fiddle and sort out a routine of your own where you first you take your grip. Then you get your actual body set up, your stance, you feel more comfortable with it. Then you can let your swing take care of itself. But once you've got your set up, try and just feel it in the position at the top where it's coming back a little bit shorter with the hands. I'm just trying to feel it just above shoulder high. That's good. Right, let's see what happens with the actual golf ball. Take your time in getting set up. Right, make sure you've got that grip. Is that okay? Yeah, that looks good, that looks good. Take your time, make sure the actual feet, the knees, the hips and the shoulders are all set. Good. And remember, not too far at the top, just your hands just above shoulder high. Don't worry what happens to the ball. That's not a bad swing. That's not a bad swing at all. There's a lot more power in that, a lot more power. Right, and again, keep thinking about that routine all the time, making sure you're set in the correct position. You've got your grip, you've got your body alignment, and then a shorter swing. Don't take the hands back as far. Good golf swing. That's a super swing, Dan. Hell of a lot more power in that. Look at that. It's another 40 yards on the ball. That's good. Yeah. Right, OK, let's swap positions just for a minute. That's great. Right. What you've done there is a big, big improvement. Right. You've come in, you've gotten yourself, you were set up aiming everything off to the left side. Your club face was actually aiming the right direction, but your body was away, okay? Your grip being over the top, so all that very weak grip there, mm -hmm. okay? That's going to lift the club up more, okay? So you're going to come down, cut across it, and it's going to go high, no power off to the right-hand side. So you've got the grip, and this is important. You've got to think about a routine. So every time you stand, you think, right, there's my grip, there's my knuckles. Find me V's, pointing towards the right shoulder, making sure I've got the club face. Then, when you're practicing, put this club down. When you go to the golf course, you can't do that. Okay, you can't use. That becomes a little bit illegal, but we can explain a bit more about that later. Okay. okay? Yeah. But you make sure you've got your feet, your knees, your hips, and your shoulders set up squarely. Okay. You've got your grip. So grip first, alignment second, and then all the time, then just thinking about keeping the hands a little bit shorter. Yeah. Not going as far. Okay. So we can get you set in that position. If you're too far, you're going to come down on top. It's going to so go off to the I right. Keep my wrist straight when I do that, and not. Um, don't them. worry about that too much, okay. right? If you start thinking about too many things straight away, it'll confuse the subject, yeah. right? You'll get a little bit too tied up in your head. I just want you to concentrate on not having the hands going back as far, so that your arms going too high. If you're coming in better there, from a, a, sh a shallower angle, a lower angle, you'll come back in, get more penetration because you're aiming in the right direction you'll hit it in the right direction, okay? Yeah. Let's see you at another shot. Okay. Concentrating on the routine, checking you've got your knuckles and your Vs. Is that right? That looks good to me, yeah, fine. Feet, knees, hips, shoulders, parallel to your ball to target line, and then concentrate on keeping the hands shorter at the top. Good, that's a super shot. Straight as you like and nice and powerful as well, that's good. Yeah. What does that feel like? It feels a lot better. Yeah. Is there any chance of working on my short game? Yeah, sure, we can go and do that. Um, what I want you to do though, before we actually go to do the short game, is make sure you can practice this. Come yeah. to your range, 
get yourself through concentrating on your routine with your grip with your setup feet knees hips shoulders parallel to ball to target line okay over and over again repetition will get you better and better all the time practice, okay okay so i want you to practice i want you to have a lesson in about three or four days time so we can concentrate on a few more things in the swing yeah okay yeah good I check it out now can you feel the bar? so danny we're now on our practice green here on the uh, the driving range the bunker shot seems to be the most difficult shot for most beginners to actually play. Yeah. You say you've got a bit of a problem with the yeah, bunker. My yeah, my putting's all right, but my bunker shots and sitting isn't very good. Right, okay. I struggle a lot. Right, okay. Well, let's see you play a few bunker shots, okay? okay? Just do what you normally do, and let's see how you're getting on. Right, okay, have another go with that one. Too bad. That was better. Have one more go. Right, okay, so what places? Now then, you're doing what most beginners will do when they get in the bunker, okay? They try to actually lift the ball out far too much and go right underneath the sand. You don't want to do that. You're standing here, you've got your weight behind the ball, so all you're going to do when you come into it is just hit too much sand, okay? Okay. You're also, you've got no follow through, okay? So you just quit on it. There's no momentum to carry the ball out. So what we need to get you to do, right, is firstly, play the ball a little bit further forward in the stance, okay? Make sure that the weight now is on your left foot, not leaning behind, yeah. okay? It's gotta be on the left side. That way you'll make more of a downward blow and you'll be going forwards more instead of leaning behind and catching too much sand. Once you're in that position, do your normal backswing, okay? But then come in, keep the weight on that front foot and make sure you actually follow through. Right, the first few shots you might actually catch too clean, they might go too far. Don't worry about it, it's far better than actually getting it out to sort of two feet in front of you, okay? So make sure you get yourself set up, you're in that position, you've got the weight on that front foot and you just play a little shot in and forwards, okay? Yeah. Right, so get yourself set up. How far behind the ball do I hit? Um, go in about two inches, okay? Yeah. I'll put a little line in there. Right, try and hit in there. Okay. Don't worry how the ball comes out. Just make sure you've got your weight on that side. Good. Right, and same backswing, make a follow through. Good, Danny. A little bit too hard. Right, that was better, that's what I want you to do. See how the ball now, you didn't do, really do anything different with your swing there, you just followed through so the ball had momentum to go forwards. Let's try that one again. Good, that's well out, it's gone a little bit too far. One more. Make sure that weight stays on the front foot, just in two inches behind the ball. Follow through. That's a good shot. That's a good shot, Danny. You just you now actually got the other thing, you're just slightly hitting it too hard and it's just running on through the green. Right, Dan. You've done really good there with some of those shots, getting it out of the bunker now. It's much better than when you were started. Yeah. What we'll do now, since we're in this position, we'll make it a little bit more difficult. We'll play a pitch shot over this obstacle of the bunker. It's quite a tough shot this, we'll see how you get on with those, okay? Yeah. So if you want to get your actual club out. Right, and I'll just rake this bunker, because normal golfing etiquette says we must rake it, because anybody coming up behind might get very dis disappointed if the ball lands in a big hoof print. So we have to do that, just to keep everybody happy. Right, now then. Right, what actual club have you got there? 60 degree wedge. Right, okay, all right, let's see you play a few shots for me. Okay, keep going. And again, that wasn't too bad, it was a bit of a miss hit. Keep going.
Right, okay. Just swap places just for a minute. You've got a very, very similar stroke to what you're actually playing with your bunker shot when you were playing it wrong. Again, your weight is too far behind because you're probably trying to get under the ball to lift it. Yeah. The ball's too far back as well, okay, which is going to make you lift even further. But you need the ball forward in the stance to give you loft to get the ball up, okay, because that's what you've got to do here to get over the actual bunker, okay. But you also need the weight on that front foot, okay, to make sure that you're making a downward blow. So you hit the ball and then the ground. You're leaning behind, hitting the ground and then the ball, which makes you just duff it in front of you, okay. So you've got to make sure that the actual weight stays on the front foot there. Okay, okay. Yeah. so get yourself set up again. Very similar to what you're actually doing with the bunker shot. Okay. Right. Just that's it. A little bit more weight. Ball off that front foot. Good. All right. Just strike the ball first. Good. That's a good shot. Super shot, a little bit too hard. Try that again. A little bit more weight on that left foot. Good. Yeah. Good, lost your balance a little bit there. A little bit too hard, but that's not too bad. One more. Okay, keep the weight on that front foot again. That's a good position. That's a good shot. So you're making much better contact there. Much better contact. That's good, Danny. So you're catching the ball first now instead of the ground. Yeah. Right, Danny. We'll finish off the shorter shots around the green by getting you to play a chip shot. Okay? Yeah. Now, what I want you to do is just play a few shots for me and we'll see what happens. Okay? Okay. What club are you going to use? I've got a seven iron. Right, okay, that's a good choice. Okay, off you go. Play a few shots in for me. Keep going. And again. Not bad, direction was good, but just a touch too hard. Just swap places just for a minute. Everything you're doing with your short game before you come to me today is very, very similar, okay? You've got the ball in the wrong position, okay? You've actually got it mixed up with the pitch shot and the chip shot. Yeah. Your weight's too far back all the time because you're obviously trying to help the ball up into the air. You made a good choice though with the seven iron because you need to keep this lower. But to keep it low, you want the ball back in your stance, more off the right foot, okay? Now, in that case, what's going to happen there, you need the weight again on the front foot, like you were playing with the bunker shot and the pitch shot before. So you're hitting down, you're squeezing out. But the ball off the back foot there, the hands in front, is going to take loft off the club. Your forward's catching it too high up, and that's why you're hitting it too far. You, you, it's a bit thin, a bit toppy, okay? So we need to make sure that you actually get in this position so you can just squeeze the ball out and get it to run forward. Okay, that hit the flag then, which is... A little bit unfortunate, it didn't drop in, it was a little bit too hard. But let's have a go with you, okay? Get yourself set up. Now, make sure that ball's lined up just off the right side. A little bit more weight on this side. That's it. And I want you to hit the ground just after you've struck the ball, okay? But yeah. make sure you're staying forwards on that left side. That was a better shot. A little bit too hard. It's a better shot though. Just try and stay a little bit more still with your head. You've got a tendency to want to lift. Just stay a little bit more still. Okay, you don't have to look for the ball. Just stay still. Stay in that position. That's a good shot. Right, one more. Again, just a touch too hard. Try not to be as firm with this. Just a little swing. That's perfect. That's a super shot. Well done. Right, Danny, we're now on the putting green, which you said earlier was your, uh, you felt a bit more comfortable with your putting, so we've got six balls there. We've got about a 20, 25 foot putt, slightly downhill. Let's see how you get on with it. Oh, 
nicely in. That was a bit jammy, the first attempt. Keep going. It's not too bad, it's a little bit firm, and it's downhill, so you don't need to be quite as hard. But it all looks good from here. Keep going. That looks good. Oh, just tweaked away. It's a good putt though. Much more controlled stroke, not quite as firm as that previous one. Let's see you knock another one in. That's a good putt again. You just need to be a little bit more to the right side with this. It's just falling across the left side there. A little bit firm again. One more. Come on, let's see you knock another one in. That looks good. That looks good as well. Hey, straight in the hole. There's nothing wrong with your putting down, that's great. That's good from that sort of range, getting two out of six, I think that's very good. The golf course. Now we're gonna put into practice what we've actually done out on the driving range, from setting up, to swinging, to hitting the ball, and also covering the short game. You'll see us teeing off from the actual teeing ground, playing out to the fairway, and then hopefully getting onto the green, where then becomes the problem of putting, trying to get the ball into the hole, and closing out your actual hole with a successful score. The game of golf is played over 18 holes. This can be on an 18 hole course, or a nine hole course as you see today. The holes on this course are par threes. This simply means that it should take you three shots or strokes as they are more usually known to make the hole or the par. The winner is the player who takes the least number of strokes to complete the course. On an 18 hole course you will often need as many as five strokes to make a specific par, hence a par five. Usually a scorecard will give you a diagram of the course and details about each hole. Although when you're starting out you don't need to worry about handicapping. It's worth mentioning that players of all different levels can play against each other by allowing a less experienced golfer an agreed number of strokes, helping them to make the game more even. Handicapping is just the system by which this is standardised. As your handicap goes down, you're allowed less strokes against an opponent or the course. There are golf courses the world over, all of which have different quirks and characteristics. This nine hole course is at the St Pierre Park Hotel on the beautiful Channel Island of Guernsey. And if you were to visit, you could simply pay your green fee and enjoy a round of golf. It's here that I'm a professional golfer and have a school where lessons can be arranged for players of all abilities. Many people take golfing holidays and although I'm obviously biased, this type of hotel and golf complex is an ideal choice. With fast ferry channel links from Weymouth and Poole on the Condor, Guernsey is literally two and a half hours away. However, you will be able to find similar facilities wherever you go. So whether it's your local course or a holiday treat, just get out there and play. After all, it's what it's all about. I'm going to take two of my students around this course and particularly as it's Debbie's first ever game I'm going to talk them through clubs and shots as we go along. Notice they're both smartly dressed. Any golf club would expect this but don't panic just remember no jeans and a shirt with a collar. Appropriate shoes and you won't go far wrong. Although Danny is obviously more experienced Debbie shouldn't be too far behind him. It's amazing how you can be winning hole after hole and then all of a sudden everything starts to go wrong. If your confidence gets knocked you must pick yourself up 
and put bad shots behind you. Golf is as much about mental attitude as physical technique and hopefully I'll be able to give these two plenty of encouragement to have a really good game. We're now here on the first tee with Debbie waiting to hit her first tee shot on a golf course. If I just explain quickly about the actual tee and area, the ball must be positioned online or behind two club lengths from the actual tee markers which we've got here in front of us. You can't go in front, you must tee off behind. Okay? Right, Debbie, ready to hit your first shot? Yep. Good luck <laughs> and swing well and let's see what happens. Remember all the time what you're trying to do from the driving range. Just take your time and relax and go for a swing. Great golf shot. Say first time on the golf course and you've hit it straight down there. Super. <laughs> right, Danny's turn now. You ready, Dan? Yeah. Okay. Come. Remember about your routine where you're taking your grip, okay? Your body alignment and then concentrating on keeping the swing a bit shorter. Everything that you've worked on in the range. Yeah. Okay, so take your time. And off you go. Keep thinking about that routine, just take your time. It's a good shot, Danny. I think it's going to be a little bit short, though. Yeah, probably didn't use enough club there. Probably needed a longer club. Never mind, that was a good shot. Right, here we are approaching the first green. Okay, what we've got is Debbie's ball first. Normally, the furthest away will always play first. So it's Debbie to go on this occasion because she's a good sort of 10 yards behind Danny. We've got about 40 yards to the green, and uh, we'll leave you to play your shot, Debbie. Okay? Take your time, make sure you feel comfortable with what's going on. Have a practice swing, just relax. Just remember what you've been doing in the lessons. That's good. Just get your hands up, just above sort of hip high for the swing. Just create a, a pendulum swing, both backwards and forwards. That's good, okay, when you're ready. Good shot, Debbie. That's a super shot. Yeah, not quite hard enough, but that's perfect. Right, Dan, on to yours. All the time we've been thinking about what you've learnt, okay, what you've done in the actual lesson. Concentrate on your shot. Shot down. Well done. Good shot. Right, we're now approaching the first green. Danny's at a super pitch shot in, and Debbie's now got herself left about 10 yards or so. So remember what you were doing from the range and go for it. That's not bad, not bad. A little bit defensive, that's not too bad there. Now Danny's ball's landed on the green here, it's come down, it's made a little hole we call a pitch mark, so he must repair that as general etiquette. Okay, tap it down. Then, because he's closest to the pin, normal etiquette in this circumstances is to actually mark the ball, and take it away and clean it. Debbie's now furthest away, so it's her to put first, where she can have the flag tended, or I think in this case, because we're close enough, we'll take the flag out. Okay? So let's see you try and knock it in. That's not a bad putt, Debbie. Okay. In this instance, she, even though she's the closest, she can still finish off if she wishes to. So I think because you're close enough, just knock that in. Just make, take your time because these are actually very easy to miss. Right, good. So, right, Danny, on to you. See if you can knock it in for your par. Oh, 
just missed out. Make sure you knock that in, take your time. Okay, well, that's a four. Not too bad. Well done, Debbie, for your first hole on the golf course. Five there is pretty good. On to the second tee. It's Danny to play first, as he made a four to Debbie's five. Okay, Dan? Yeah. Off you go. That's a good shot. Need a little friendly kick in. Yeah, oh, nice shot. Well done. That's well played there. Okay. Right, now on to you, Debbie. Okay. Just keep thinking about all the things you've done from the range. You had a good, comfortable start, confident start in the first hole. Let's see you do the same again. That's not too bad, a little bit down the right side. Okay, but that's fine. Okay, that's not too bad. Right, guys, I'll see you in a bit. If you just play on, and we'll see you in a sec. Yeah. Yeah. Now you've seen how Danny and Debbie have got on on the first tee and the second tee, we've let them go off into the actual distance to play a little bit more golf. Hopefully you've enjoyed this programme. We've discovered a bit more about golf. You've seen the range, the setup, the swing, the actual short game, and now to progress onto the golf course. Okay, so this game of golf is a great game of golf to actually play. It's a fun game. Hopefully you've seen that and what we've done so far, and we'll see you later.